We've been in Houston for five months, and this has been on our bucket list the entire time. And this is the first we're able to go. And it looks like it's going to rain, but we're going to go anyway. The Houston Arboretum. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. And I am Gary. <laughs> he knows his line so well. <laughs> we are finally at the Houston Arboretum. It is a small corner of Memorial Park. So just so you know that. And the signage was not the best to get here. At least the GPS was not. So just be forewarned on that. Um, but we did find it. We're excited. And it's starting to sprinkle. And it's windy. And so we probably are not going to be filming anything where we're going to be talking over anything. So be watching for subtitles and things like that. And um, we're going to have a lot of music. All right. Let's go. Parking on Thursdays is free. And the Arboretum is free. But we are here on a day other than a Thursday because we couldn't come on a Thursday. So we paid the $5 parking fee. And I'm sure it's going to be well worth it. Absolutely. <laughs> and right straight ahead from where we're parked, our first bird. Oh, what is she doing? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Caught her in action. <laughs> She's fishing. So far, it has been uh, this composite decking, wood decking, a combination of the different ones, different areas, and this mulch. So it is wheelchair and stroller friendly. We are on the inner loop here. All right, we switched to the Muscadine Trail, which is a short one, and that'll connect us to another one. I think it's the Outer Trail, and then that'll get us back to the Inner Trail. This one's very wooded. Between Hurricane Ike in 2008 and Harvey in 2017 and a drought in 2011, they lost about 50% of their trees. So there's a lot of dead stuff in here. Oh, but that is not dead. Oh my goodness, that's poison ivy vine, right? Oh my goodness, it still has some of the hairs on it. Oh wow, that is huge. That is humongous. Ah, do not touch. seeing these
these areas where something is rutting, there, there's no indication that they have wild hogs here. We're thinking maybe armadillos are doing this. Because a lot of it is around tree roots. And I would imagine they're looking for bugs around the, the roots. I don't know. If you know what's causing this, what kind of animal does this, let us know in the comments down below. Okay, we learned about these bumps that grow out of the ground, like some kind of a root, and they're called cypress knees. We learned about those in Louisiana? I think so, yeah. Yeah. When we saw the crawfish. Yes. <laughs> On the Facebook page, it had said that they spotted a gator in 2018, and I didn't see any updates. Evidently, they multiplied. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there's some fish in there. Some fish. Oh, and a turtle. There he is. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and there's some sunning over there.
Hello. Hello. This is a good size one. Just soaking up some sun. Oh, he's going to attack me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Checking you out, Gary. Hello. Hi. Okay, so we did almost all the trails or parts of each of them. Yep. Muscadine Trail and then part of the Outer Loop, South Meadow. <laughs> no, we didn't do that. We walked back. At some point we backtracked. <laughs> the donor barred block, that was curvy. Wildflower Trail. And then the ravine. That was cool. That's the only one that we found that you really wouldn't be able to do the whole thing on if you had a wheelchair or a stroller. You'd be able to do part of it, but not the whole thing. But otherwise, the rest of them, from what we were on, we were able to. 
I think they said all total, all these add up to five miles of trails. So we did about two hours time. I don't think we did five miles, but it was good. Very nice.